If you use use effect in React, you have to be very careful to not introduce race conditions. As an example, I've set up a component that takes an input string, then pretends to fetch data with a delay, and then it simply sets a state to the same input string so that we can display it on the screen. The only catch is that if we pass the letter A as input, it takes two seconds to load, and in any other case, it takes one second to load. So now if we click fetch A, it takes two seconds until we get A back. When we click fetch B, it takes only one second until we get B. But now what happens if I click fetch A, and then before these two seconds are over, I click fetch B. So fetch A, fetch B, we get result B first, and then a moment later we get result A, even though B would be the correct result. This happens because fetch A takes longer than fetch B, so we get the old result after the newer result, which is a race condition. One way to fix this is to set a unique key on the component that changes when the input arguments change. This way React knows that it has to throw away all the state of the old component and instantiate a completely new one. The other option is to introduce such an ignore flag into our use effect. In the cleanup function of our use effect, we set ignore to true. This cleanup function will be executed before the next use effect is executed, and if ignore is true, we simply ignore the result when it arrives. It's also a good idea to use a fetching library like SWR, which takes care of race conditions for you.